Danita, how are you, girl? Good night. Hey, hello. Good night. Good night. How are you, Danita? Very good. Very good. Hey. Okay. Yes. How was your day? Um, I was um, working. Working? All day. Working hard? All day. Yeah. Oh, that is your baby? Yes. How old is 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 it a girl or is it a boy? Um, is here. Uh, it's a girl. Oh, okay. A girl. How old is she? Um, four. Four years four old. Year, four years. Four years old. Oh, oh but <laughs> it should be such a beautiful baby girl. Can we see her? I want to meet her. Hey. Let him. Okay, I can. Get hold. Hi, Danita. <laughs> Where's your little baby girl? Oh, the computer. <laughs> but she can pronounce very well computadora, right? Computer. <laughs> yes. It's, it's very intelligent. She's very intelligent. Yeah. Hi, baby girl. <laughs> Hi, Danita. Hi. Hi, Danita. Hi, hi, hey. <laughs> oh, she's beautiful, four years old, wow. But she has, she has a lot of energy, right? Mm -hmm. I can't yes. imagine, Dianita. Dianita, I haven't seen your hair. You have a long I mean, hair. Yeah, really? Oh my God. And how you <laughs> do it, Dianita? Because um, it's really hot. I was, you have a long yes. hair, right? Your hair is really long. But do you already get used to the long hair? Because it's really hot. I cannot have my hair like yours because for me, it's really, really hot. Yes. Do you understand what I'm talking about? No? A little bit? Anita, do you understand me? Or no? Yes. Do you understand what I have said? Um. A little bit. Me entendiste lo que te dije? No, un poquito, a little no, bit. No, no. Uh, okay, okay. I, I was explaining to you that right now it's hot, right? It's hot. Está muy caliente. It's hot. No, 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 no. Don't worry. No, no. <laughs> yes. It's hot. I hope. So, I, so hot. I, I can okay. see your hair. Your hair is long. Está largo. Tú tienes cabello largo. You have a long hair. Uh, uh -huh. yes, yes. And I'm, yes, I, I'm yes. telling you that I cannot so, be like you. No puedo ser como tú. Porque yo uh, padezco mucho de calor. I'm, I'm, for me, it's really hot. Uh, yo no. tengo cabello largo, pero yo, I cannot wear it like yours. Por lo menos no en clima caliente. Clima helado, sí, but no caliente. <laughs> yo tengo ventaja porque el mío es bien liso. Ah, yes. Yeah, so, no, my one, no. My hair is curly. Well, not curly, actually. Uh -huh. It's wavy. Uh -huh. Wavy. Quebradizo. Uh -huh. Wavy, right? Hey, you're listening in Spanish. Hey, how's my Spanish? I'm improving uh -huh. my Spanish. Huh? You have to congratulate me, Danita. Come on. <laughs> yeah, but I like, I like your hair. I wish I could have a straight hair like yours, but I don't. Hey, but we can see the Anita. You know what, Anita? Wow, Mr. Sirhan, where have you been? Hi, teacher. Hi, we miss you. Uh, sorry, I had a board uh, meeting sorry. yesterday. Really? Uh, yes. At How was your meeting? Uh, meeting the, the, a new project. Oh, got it. Oh, yeah, yeah, God. definitely. It's an important meeting that you cannot miss. I understand that perfectly. Was it good? Okay, I think Sir Ham is frozen. Yeah. Yes, was it good? <laughs> and tell, good? Tell me something, Sir Ham. How was your day today? Today is, uh, is no more bouncy. Uh -huh. okay. uh, it's, it's not, not Easy. complicated today. Uh, no, it's not complicated. That's fine. That's awesome. It's not complicated. That's great. Excellent. Yeah, my one is, has been a little bit busy, as always. <laughs> but I'm so happy to see you. You came in a really good time, you know? Today, we're going to learn a lot of things, a lot of things. 
So hopefully you start thinking about how's your neighborhood like, Sirhan. Okay, I will give you an idea. Just start thinking about that because I'm about to ask you something. Okay, don't worry. Thank you so much, Sirhan. Let's listen to yes, yes, Sirhan. Go ahead. You have back connection. Yes, I can. I can. I can see that. But don't worry. That's okay. 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 Janet, okay. what about you, girl? How's your day going? Hi. Hi. So far, so good. Um, yes. Yes. Now you look a little bit tired. See. Yes. yes. Right. Yes. I guess I can see your eyes. Your eyes. I can detect it in your eyes. Yes. Your eyes. You said, damn. Your my eyes like. <laughs> I was about to. Ah, yes, let me ask you something, guys. Hey, how's it going with the practice of the songs? Did you try to practice them? No? Carlitos, yeah. Ant Carlitos Antonio said, I don't have enough lungs. <laughs> yeah, no, teacher. No. It's, it's, especially MIB, right? You know what MIB I, is? I, 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 Yes, yeah, it's, it's very fast, no, teacher. I am slowly, slowly, slowly. <laughs> no, that's okay. The reason is because um, it might be. Have you seen the the movie Man in Black? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, so the song it was like that. Will Smith is the one who sings that song. Will Smith. Yes, I know. Uh -huh. yes, yes. So I I pl I put that song, guys, because that is um it's really nice to hear him because he has a specific accent where he comes from so it's not easy to follow his rhythm right it's not no. easy and the way that he pronounces things it's not easy at all it's not easy i, I really, uh, uh, i was uh, studying in, in university uh -huh. i buy i bought the the city the savage garden I, ah, love, yeah. I love it. Oh, those are pretty yes. nice, but you can understand them. Merely, truly, deeply. Madly, truly, deeply. Uh -huh. It's a very song. But in this CD, uh, there are one song. Is mm -hmm. uh, I Want You. Ah, uh huh. <laughs> very, very fast, too. Yeah, I know. I and know. You know what? We have another song that is faster than that. Very fast. Yeah. Oh, no, it's good. But, but don't give up, Carlitos. Don't give up. Because uh, when you try it, maybe the first time you're like, blah, 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 blah. What, what? I didn't say hi. <laughs> but, but then if you continue practicing and practicing, you will be able to improve it. Let's practice, yes. Yeah, practice makes you know perfection. That. You know that. What about the other one that I sent it to you about Bruno Mars, right? That was the other one, Bruno Mars, right? Beautiful Bruno girls, Mars. right? All over ah, the yes, world, yes, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that one. I don't know. I think it Ewo said that that she loved it by heart. She said, "Ah, that's one of my favorite songs." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. Yes. Okay, but do you like me to send you the the, the songs? I picked them for a reason. <laughs> yeah, I just picked okay. them. It, it's not because I'm no. I just picked them for a reason. And what about the airplane? Have you have you heard that? Can we pretend like airplanes with the nice sound, the shooting stars? That one. That no, you like no, that? No, 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 no. <laughs> I will try to send it out. Well, okay. you know what, Janet? I do not seem so too, too bad, right? But I'm not a good singer either. I'm not a good singer, so don't worry about that. I think you I think you will be better singer than me. <laughs> That's what I think. Uh, <laughs> we can make a duo, right? We can make a duo. Okay, if you if you if you like it. But not right now. <laughs> I need to drink like uh three or four Red Bulls. <laughs> in order for me to be ready karaoke <laughs> karaoke no, yeah <laughs> that would be awesome yeah. <laughs> no, no. yeah i don't know i think i'm i'm a little bit hyper today and i think because i already i had just uh taken the cup of coffee that could be the reason why mm -hmm. i love coffee but hard all righty okay so you will continue practicing uh, i will send you another um, song today and as well, the other listening part. Hey, the, uh, Janet uh, said that she loves that listening part about the, the the numbers, right? Have you practiced them, Alex? Ay, Carlitos, come yeah. on, come on. <laughs> only, only listen the 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 the, the, zone. the number one. What? Ah. Uh, do, 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 I know. Do, what? Do, do, oh. what? 
Yes. Yeah, it's very, very complicated. They listen to the, the I know. The I know it's complicated. That's why I chosen that. Because <clears throat> if you're able to understand them, you will be uh -huh. able to understand the rest. Yes. Yeah, okay. I know. So that's why I'm going to send you again, and hopefully, Carlitos, please put in practice the numbers. I'm going to send again a kind of similar accent, but it will be about names. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to practice the alphabet. I know it was pretty basic thing, but it's really important to remember that, okay? Because uh, the pronunciation is really important. And as well, uh, sometimes when, they, when somebody provides you a, num a name, they're not going to wait until you find it out. Okay, she said B. B and you're oh. starting A, B. No. No, yeah. no, you need to catch it like this, right? So that's what is really important. And why I send it to the first the numbers and then the names, because when you handle these two things, the numbers and the names, you will be ready, guys, to take dictation about email addresses. Because email addresses joins the two things together, punctuation, names, and numbers. So you gotta be ready for those. And I had to let you know, email addresses are one of the things that is really hard to get, especially because they are not the same, all right? So okay. that's okay. why I'm, I'm sending you this information because not, it's not only just for practicing right now, guys, it will help you in your daily basis. For example, in your work, you send messages. Somebody sends messages to you as well. Right? And sometimes imagine that you have to talk to a client in English and you have need to ask for information from them. And they say, okay, can I have your phone number for me to call you later on? And they will start giving you the phone number, right? And then, and sometimes guys, we use the zero for, of course, the number zero, but sometimes we use the O and it's not the letter O, is the O is the zero as well. So you, you need to know how they use it. And also, guys, they will give you their email addresses because you need to send like information to a client, right? For a project or asking something or maybe um, a budget about something. I don't know. You have to communicate between the client, between different, between your the CEO, right? Between another departments. So you must know how to like, get the information that you need from others and also just to, to provide the information, right? So what we're gonna do right now, guys, maybe at the end of the next class, not this class, at the end of this model, we're gonna practice that. I'm gonna give you the agitation, okay? I'm gonna, we're gonna practice everything. We're gonna practice um, punctuation, we're gonna practice numbers, we're gonna practice names and I'm gonna give you email addresses, okay? Because I want you guys to be ready and to practice that. I, maybe uh, maybe you will get from the 10 that will give it to you, you will get only one. Okay, that's good. But the only one that you get, I want you to have a right. Okay, so that's why I'm, I'm just, maybe I'm too tough. I'm tough. I told you at the beginning of the model, I'm a tough teacher. But I'm, I'm like that because I want you to learn. And I'm giving you practice things that it will help you in your daily basis. And as well, it will help you in your work. I'm giving you tools, tools for your work, because I know that you're going to need it. And so, so or Charlie Brown, please don't ask Snoopy to help you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I think Snoopy right now is like uh, lucky, right? No, it's lucky, lucky right? Lucky. Yeah, yeah. He's like uh, uh, lucky, alias Snoopy. Okay, he's. Yes. I think he's playing with uh, with Woodstock, or is lying on the sofa, maybe, right? Yes, right. it's next to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. See, yes. Oh. Come on. Yes. Next to me. Don't mix Spanish with me. <laughs> no, that's okay, Charlie Brown. But well, you know what? I'm happy that you're trying to do your best. That's what I'm happy. I know right, that you're I'm a busy you. man. You're proud. Yeah, I know. Everybody is busy because all of us has our own life, right? Our own uh, responsibilities, our own job, etc. But we are here, guys. We are here. And why we are here? Because it shows our commitment, are willing to learn and are willing to move forward. So that every time that I can see you guys, I'm happy. I'm happy because I said, okay, 
Okay, it's worth it that I'm here. It's worth it that I'm here because these guys are giving their best and that's what I like, that you give the best. Even though you're like, like Janet, right? I can give her a pillow, she's like, sometimes, yes. <laughs> it's just like, she's, she's trying to open her eyes widely like that, you know? like this <laughs> how you said that in spanish oh yes i love that hey, she's trying to put chuchitos right chuchitos right right yes, yes. okay those are the one that you used to like hanging your your clothes right chuchitos yeah, no. okay yeah so she's trying to put like that a chuchitos. tape picture a tape <laughs> a tape it will be much better yes <laughs> all righty hey we have full house today we do have alex we have um Ew, Anita, Kevin Villalta, yeah. Esmeralda Beatriz Rodriguez. We have Jenny. Jenny, I'm sorry I didn't say hi to you at the beginning, but I'm so happy to see you. And also we have Loida. Wow, what Loida, yeah. There was no classes, right? No meetings today. Hey, hey, that's awesome. All righty. So guys, today we will continue with the uh, remember that yesterday we were like talking about a common complaints in the neighborhood, right? And we were discussing about that and everything. So, and you were trying to explain that uh, about noise, about pests, about clean things, about privacy, etc. cetera. And, and we will continue with this topic, but now when we're trying to guys to this, um, to express how is our neighborhood like, we were going to use, I think I, I let you know that uh, yesterday, um what we call quantifiers have you have you used it, uh, the word many have you used the word much yes have you hear about a lot of a few a little etc right that's that's what we call quantifiers but first of all to identify which type of quantifier we'll need to use for this and word or for the other word, we need guys to identify the words or to put them in two main groups, which we call count nouns and uncount nouns. Do you remember that? The count nouns, yeah, and the count nouns. Okay, uh, let's practice a little bit. And let me let you know. Okay, guys, who can tell me the word traffic that I know Janet loves the most? <laughs> no. <laughs> the word traffic. No. What do you think, guys? That word, is it a countable noun or uncountable noun? What do you think? Uncountable. 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 And, and you are right. Why? Because we can We cannot count. count. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, exactly. Sierra, we cannot count. What about the word pollution? Is it countable or uncountable? Uncountable. uncountable. Can uncountable. we count it? Uncountable. No. Very good. No. All right. What about uh, apartment buildings? Can we count them? Yes. It's, yes. it's, a, it's countable now. Okay, cool. And what about parking? Is yes. it countable? Can we say parkings? Parking. Can we say that? No. No. Parkings. We cannot say parkings. We can no. It's uncountable. Yeah. Aha. I got you on that one, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yay. Hey guys, what about um traffic light? Can we count? Traffic light? Traffic yes. Light? Yeah. What about school? Countable. Yeah, countable. countable. And what about, what is the other one that I have here? Okay, what about cafe? Uncountable. Okay. Yes. Ca ca we, we can countable. We can count it. Yes. Cafes. What about crime? Uncountable. Crime uncountable. uncountable. We cannot uncountable. count it. Uncountable. What about park? Countable. Uncountable. Countable. Oh, yes. Countable. One of the things, guys, that it will help you to determine if a, if a noun uh, it's countable or non-countable is if you can pluralize it, okay? For example, pen, I can say pens, right? Car, I can say yeah. cars, right? But for example, build apartment building, apartment buildings, all right? Or I can say park, parks. But I cannot say, for example, traffics. 
pollutions. No. I cannot say that. You cannot pluralize it. So remember, guys, that the two main words or the quant the two main quantifiers that we're gonna use, for example, are many and much. Much do we use it for uncountable nouns? And remember, many, we gotta use it for countable nouns. So you said many traffic lights, much traffic, okay? So that is really important. When we're talking about quantifiers that will help us to describe our neighborhood like, uh, we need to just think about, it. okay, in this word, is countable or uncountable? Where we already identify in which group is it, then you know, okay, after that, I have two main quantifiers. I have many for quant for countable nouns and I have much for uncountable nouns. Okay, cool. But then after that, we have some many quantifiers that we can say that follows each category. That would depends of what is exactly we're talking about. So uh, may I, I'm going to like, um, basically I'm going to share my screen with you right now. And I want you guys to take a look at that right now. There you go. Okay, can you see it? Yeah? Yes. Awesome. All right, so basically guys, I want you, first of all, your eyes on the count nouns, which are like this, the, the one that you have on your left, yes. Okay, you see guys, we have many, right? And then if we're talking about that there are a, a lot of quantity, you can use another quantifier, which is a lot, also, when you're talking about plural, you can use a few, but you can say a few is like, they are not a, a lot, but they are not many. A few is like in the middle. Then we have, no, there aren't many. That means that there are some existence, but maybe like four or five. There aren't any, that means that they're not, and there are none, that is zero. Okay, so I want you guys to pay attention on the quantifier that we use for count nouns. What about a um, non-count nouns? There you go. Now I want you to do me a favor. Now I want you to take a look on your right side. If you see guys, there is a quantifier that we use in both cases. Do you see that? A lot and a lot, do you see it? Can you see that? Yeah? Yes, yes. Okay. So a lot, guys, we can use it either for count nouns or uncount nouns. But of course, it will be depends on the word that we're going to use, right? And now take a look at this. A few, we use it with countable nouns. But a little, we're going to use it with uncountable. Then we have many for countable, much for uncountable. We have any for both and we have none for both. But guys, let me ask you something. I just want to know if you're really curious. Could you please let me know a, what would be the main difference between non-countable nouns and countable? May I ask you guys, what is the verb that we use? What is the verb? Well, the verb tense is in present, but what is the verb that we use for countable and uncountable? Verb to be. Very good job. And do you guys, uh, can you check on countable nouns if we use the verb to be singular or plural? Countable uses the plural, are Ex there. Exactly. Why, guys? Because I was explaining to you that we can pluralize them, right? That's what, that is one of the things that we do to determine if a word is countable or non-countable. So guys, when you're talking about count nouns, you will always pluralize it. So you're going to use the verb to be in plural. But guys, can we, count, can we pluralize non-count nouns or uncountable nouns? Can we pluralize it? Yes or no? Okay. Can we convert uh, the uncountable nouns? Can we pluralize them? No. No. It's a, it's so, 
Exactly, singular. So always, guys, all uncountable nouns will be singular. Mm -hmm. That means that you're going to use nice. the verb to be. It, it could be on, on the present tense, like the one I'm circling right now, or it could be in the negative way. All right? Isn't. That is, guys, mm -hmm. one of the main things. That, for example, when you're talking about uncountable nouns, guys, you're not going to say, yes, there are much traffic. You cannot say that because you, we cannot pluralize it. Mm -hmm. So you can say, yes, there is much traffic or there isn't much traffic. It depends, right? Or if you would like to use it in negative or positive way. So that is one of the main things, guide. that maybe there are some maybe. quantifiers that it could be like in both. For example, a lot, we can use it for countable and uncountables. We can use uh, any for countable and uncountable, and no, and none for countable and uncountable. But as but it's really important. Don't forget, with countable, you have to use the verb to be in plural, positive or negative, and uncountable because we cannot pluralize it. Always will be in singular all the time. So you're gonna use is or isn't. As simple as that. Carlitos, Antonio, what happened to you? Take a deep breath. Uh-huh. Sirhan, any questions? I think you have a face like if you like, have a good question mark here. Any questions right now? Any doubts? Carlitos, Janet, Loida, Eu, Steffi, Dianita, I don't know. Loida, yeah, you have you have a question? Okay, go ahead. I want to know if there are uh, some verbs uncountable and countable at the same time? Verbs. Nouns, I'm sorry. Uh, nouns, uh, no. <laughs> no, no, or uncountable or countable. Okay. Either you. or. What you can do will be quantifiers that you can use for both. Yes, for example, some or any, but the nouns, no, it cannot be both. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, thank you, lady. Any Anything else, any other question? No, we're good, right? Ready to go. <laughs> All right, let me double check. Okay, guys, now we're going to, I want you guys to, uh, to listen how we can use this grammar thing that we have just seen in a real conversation life. For example, you just uh, maybe do you remember, guys, that um, a, when you move from your mom's house to your house with your husband or with your family? Yeah, right. Of course, it was totally different neighborhood, right? And I don't know if you receive a call from your mom or from your parents asking you about what is how is the new house, how do you feel, how is the, the neighbors, the neighborhood, I don't know. But uh, well, maybe because we have received a call from our parents or from our family or friends that they're asking how is it going. And they were asking us about, hey, how do you feel? Hey, do you have many places to go around? Oh, how is your new apartment? How is your new house? Blah, 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 blah. So I, I have I received a call like that. So basically, the conversation that we're about to hear is like that. It's a girl that has been moved to a new apartment, and a really close friend is calling her, asking how is it going on her new neighborhood. So what I want you guys to pay attention is uh, not to the whole scenario, right? To the whole conversation, no. I just want you guys to let me know what is exactly the description that she used. I want you to, to pay attention, like if there's a lot of traffic, if there's uh, not, um, not too much privacy, for example, something like that, okay? I want you guys to pay attention on how she describes her new apartment or her new uh, neighborhood. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me share with you. Three. There you go. Exercise. Can you hear it? Yeah. 
Can you hear yes, it? Can. Okay, cool, cool. This. All right. Size eight. Conversation. It's pretty safe. Listen and practice. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. <laughs> All right, you want to hear it one more time? Well, that's okay. You want to hear it one more time? Yes, please. Yes. yes, okay. Yes, please. Yes. All righty. Page 53, exercise 8, conversation. It's pretty safe. Listen and practice. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay, I don't think it's pretty safe. <laughs> All right, guys. So tell me, uh, what did you understand about this conversation? How is uh, her neighborhood like? Can you give me any description of what did she said? It's, it's in downtown. It's in downtown, yes. That's great. You know what downtown is, guys? You know what downtown is? Dianita? Like a century. Yes, Kelvin, exactly. Uh, Kevin. The center. Yes, that's the center. Uh, Dianita. Dianita, downtown is a word that we use to talk about El Centro. El Centro, okay. that's San Salvador, right? Oh my God. Right. No, I need to like switch it. Oh my God. I had to like speak Spanish better. <laughs> yeah, better. I'm improving. I'm improving. I, I, I will say bye bye in, in Spanish at the, at the end of the class. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully you can give me a 10. <laughs> that would be awesome. All righty. Uh huh. What else? What else, guys? What else she said about the neighborhood? It's very noisy. It's, it's very, very noisy. noisy. Yeah. Yes. Very noisy. What else? A lot there are of restaurants. Many, there are many restaurants. A lot of restaurants. Yes. What else there? A lot of restaurants. Yes. A lot of restaurants. What else? Uh, is Esmeralda Beatriz? Did you say something? <laughs> yes. Uh, a lot of restaurants say um, there are many parking. There are many parking or much parking? There are many. 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 Okay. Many. Many. many parking or many parking lots? Many parking Park, lots. Parking uh -huh. garages. Okay, yes. Very good. Parking garages. Uh-huh. Teacher, but you did it, but you said that parking it was an uncountable. Yes. The word parking is uncountable. But if you're saying parking lots or parking garages, that's another thing. Right? Because for example, yes, yes because we can count, right? That one we can count. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So depends, guys, on how you use it. it you can convert that, right? Par the word parking, no. But parking it's much. Lots, in this case, it's much. Exactly. But the parking well, lots, see, just like a like mm -hmm. a, a mound, exactly, exactly, a ground, right? And parking garages, of course, that one you can count. Very good. What else? It's pretty safe. It's pretty safe, but I, 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 that's what she said. But do you believe her? I don't think so, right? And they're like, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's my car, right? My car, I gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I, don't. I don't think, well, I'm not agree about privacy, you know? 
and saved. <laughs> I'm not agree about that. Okay, very good, guys. So, okay, let's uh, let's practice that. Let's practice that. I want you guys to like try to be like in the A scenario, right? Okay, try to talk. Okay, I'm gonna share right now with you the dialogue. And we're gonna pick big team. Sorry, we're gonna pick <laughs> volunteers. It was like, oh, the teacher. <laughs> and we're going to pick like two or three pairs, right? So they can like, um, I don't know, like put the as an area one more time. So I'm gonna pick a girl and I'm gonna be a, a boy, of course. And da, 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 let me check who's going to be the first big team. Okay, sorry, first uh, participants. Uh, I want you to be uh, Esmeralda Beatrice. You can be with Sirham. Don't worry, don't worry. I will search, I will um, share with you the dialogue. Uh, Kelvin, I want you to be with Anita Romero. And Kevin. Kevin. Oh, I don't know what Kelvin. Okay, I know. Sorry, Kevin. Sorry, Curry. I don't know what happened. Including Dianita. I know that is Dianita, but that's her Dianita, right? But she understands me. All righty. And, and let me check who else. And uh, 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 uh. Carlitos Cruz. I love that birding, that birding. Carlitos Hello, Cruz. Teacher. Hello, can you all, can you be um, with Stephanie Ramirez in this dialogue? That would be awesome, right? Okay. So I already have chosen the three um, Volunteers, right? Oh, volunteers, not big teams. Volunteers who are gonna help me in this dialogue. So I'm going to share right now with you guys. Give me just a moment. Uh, 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 and then we're going to start. All right, that's awesome. It's going to be easy peasy queasy. And you know what? Um, all the girls, Please, all the girls, I want you to have your cell phone ready, okay? Because you're going to receive a call, okay? All right, first big team, okay. Eu and Alex, very good. Yay, thank you. I know that you always love to be the first ones, so I have chosen that because of the, all righty. So, uh, 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 uh. so I think Mr. Alex will start the conversation, right, Alex? because you're going to ring. Okay. Um, the scenario is, it's pretty safe. All righty. Conversation one, scenario number one, action. Go ahead, Alex. How do you like it, your new apartment? I love it. So it's very convenient. Downtown, is there much noise? Oh. There isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, excellent Korean place just around the corner. Mm -hmm. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking gardens, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's very safe. Hold on, that's my car on now. I'll call you back later. <laughs> okay, very good. For the first intervention, I like it. But you know what? I had to let you know that you didn't convince me. <laughs> yes, because it sounds like you were re reading that. And of course, you were reading that, right? Okay, of course. But I want you guys to sound more natural. Like if we are calling a friend like, hey, Il, how's your new apartment like? Like that, like that, right? Okay. We're more like, try to get into the character, you know? Like if you're, like, like, like if you're calling a friend, hey, Il, hey, I, wanna, I wanna know how's your apartment like? Like that, okay? okay? All right, so <clears throat> it's pretty safe. And scenario number two, action, go ahead. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. 
What about parking? Well, there aren't the many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No. Yeah, very good. Fantastic. You see? Tell me something, guys. Okay. Okay, guys. Do you think they, they have done this second time better than the first one? Yes or no? Yeah. 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 It sounds prettier for me. Very good. Excellent. Like, hey, hold on. Hold on. You said, oops. And I was like, pity, 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 pity. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Very good, Alex. Now you, I feel more confident. And, and now, yeah, you convince me. Excellent. Excellent job. Very good. And next, <laughs> Kevin Vijalta with Anita Romero. Okay, Kevin, you start. Kevin. Anita. Yes. Hey, Anita, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there in your, your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. How long? That's my car alarm. I'll you back later. I call you back later. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Excellent. Great scenario. Amazing, guys. Okay, the last victims. Okay, I'm sorry, the last participant. <laughs> I think it's a Steffi, right? And Mr. Carlos Cruz. All right. Okay, Carlitos, you need to start. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> How do you like? How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's a downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? No, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are these near you? Your place? A lot. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a, plow, a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I called you back later. Very good, very good. Congratulations. Uh, what I like, uh, Steffi, is that it sounds natural, very natural. That's what I like. You said, I love it. It's downtown. So it's very convenient. Yes, it sounds like you were talking with a friend. I like it. Very good job. Now, guys, I, I, I we're just going to reinforce some pronunciation of some words, right? Just a few of them. So don't worry about that. So let me share.